Okay, wow. Great job. <laughs> I'm seriously dead. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you watched my home tour a couple weeks ago, Ryan and I talked a lot about how we are gonna be changing out a bunch of stuff at our house, like changing all the furniture, changing the floors, like kind of a full home do-over. Um, we've been in here for like eight years and we loved it, but we just needed something fresh, especially being at home for so long lately. So we are getting started with the reno. I'm gonna take you guys along to see every step of it. I'm not totally sure we know what we're getting ourselves into, but fingers crossed, it'll all work out. But real fast, if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, hit that red button, it means so much to me and I have new videos for you guys every Monday. Ugh. Okay, let's do this. The chair has not gone up yet. We're gonna actually wait because next week, we're getting these floors done, which means right now Ryan and I have to figure out how to fit our entire house inside of our garage. We didn't really think that part through when we were like, yeah, let's do it. Um, and we don't really have anywhere else to store all of our stuff and they're gonna demo the entire house, all of the floors at the same time. So there's nowhere except the garage to put everything, like literally everything. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Try to figure out how to play what is it, Tetris? Tetris? Tetris. We're gonna play Tetris with our furniture. Here we go. Here's the other part of this Ryan told me last night. Not only do we have to move all the furniture out, right now the wood's coming in, and we're supposed to stack it like a Jenga board inside the house so that it can acclimate apparently to the temperature, which means like the only spot I think that it can actually fit is right here where the dining table is. Um, so the floors aren't coming in for like another week, like we're not putting them in but we have to move out the table. And then we personally have to unload like 80 boxes of giant wood planks and stack them here. <laughs> I don't know what we get ourselves into sometimes. We just got so excited about doing the floors and we're like, yeah, and like signed, sealed, here we go. And now we're just gonna live in chaos for a week. It's gonna be interesting. I've made progress kind of organizing the garage to get ready to bring stuff out. Um, we decided we had all this furniture, which is the stuff we moved out when we got the new furniture. We haven't sold it yet. It was taking up a whole room. So we moved all that out. We're gonna stack the wood in there instead of in the dining room for right now. But there's nothing like redoing your floors, which is basically feels like moving because we have to pack everything off the floors, off the closet, to make you realize like how much stuff you have that you don't need. And I get rid of stuff, I purge stuff constantly, like every month getting rid of, getting rid of, getting rid of, but somehow we still have so much stuff. So I'm gonna try to do like a little bit of a clean out while I pack stuff because what I don't wanna do is pack all the stuff into the garage and then be like, oh, I don't need any of this. So I'd rather just get rid of it now. So it's adding on to the level of work, but hopefully it'll be worth it in the end. I'm literally like dripping in sweat. It's also the hottest weeks that we've had here all summer. It's like 90 degrees, so really super time to do this, but we're making it work. I'm mostly worried about all my delicious wines and uh, alcohol bottles that are normally stored in the garage that are now gonna overheat. <laughs> Basically, I decided I'm gonna take this one room at a time to not overwhelm myself. And I'm also going to do a box of save to put in the garage and get rid of just to make it easier. So one room at a time, I got this. It's gonna be fine. <laughs> All right, so the guys, the wood just got here. We have two rooms cleared out. I decided to wait on the dining room because I need somewhere to work. <laughs> um, got this room all clear, a bunch of stuff here, and then they're ready. Ryan's doing the official check to make sure it's the right wood and it looks all good. Because once you sign for it, it's yours. Um, there's a lot of wood in there. They're super long. They're really big, wide, long planks. So it's going to be a workout, that's for sure. Okay, wow. Great job. <laughs> I'm seriously dead. That was like a gnarly workout. So like 70 plus boxes, 35, 40 pounds each. And... We had to load them all into the house. And, I like, mean, it just and not just load weird. them, but they're like, you have to put them in like a special like cross hatch, like I said, yeah, like Jenga. Really so you kind of just like throw them on the floor. So you had to like do them like this, apparently, so they can acclimate to the house and the temperature here. And then, so we got one room of them there. And then we got another room of them here. So that's that. Well, well done. <laughs>
right, so the tile we picked out for the laundry room is too thin, basically, um, with the new wood. So it would be a huge step, not a huge step down, but it'd be a pretty big step down um, versus the wood transitioning level into the laundry room. So we're gonna go see if we can find a thicker one. We just got back from the tile store and literally spent probably two hours frantically looking for tile because it had to be a certain thickness. So we brought the wood sample with us. Every tile I liked was too thin and it was just like becoming a nightmare because if we wanted to use the thinner stuff then we'd have to increase the size of the flooring and there's just like a big old mess. So I finally found some. And I had to remind myself, it's just a laundry room. It's not that big of a deal. But I'm really happy with it. Super pretty. I think it's going to go with the rest of the house and the things that we have everywhere really nicely. So it's done. And then I also realized I had to pick out grout color. <laughs> anyway, such a stressful morning. I'm so bad at making decisions. Like, important life decisions, brilliant. I can do it fast. I'm like, like Mary and Ryan, no question, on it. But like, little stupid stuff like colors and tiles really hard. <laughs> In my indecisive defense, you can hear them starting to get that tile out. Um, I hadn't had my coffee yet, so also there's that. The floor is done. It looks so good, but there was a little issue. So when they finished, they apparently didn't check the leveling, so there's like a dip when you walk in it. So now I think they're gonna have to redo the whole tile floor, which is just crazy. But you guys can at least see sneak peek at how good it looks. It is so beautiful. Like you can't really see, but right there it goes like whoop when you walk and feels real funny. But the floor itself looks gorgeous. I'm so happy with the pick. I actually like it more than the first one that we had. So it all worked out. Tomorrow morning's the big day. So Ryan's office is pretty much almost empty. This still hasn't happened though, you guys. <laughs> We've been really lagging a bit, so I'm kind of just trying to get all the little knickknacks put in boxes and then deal with the rest of it. Mostly tonight, we're gonna wait on a couple pieces for tomorrow morning for them to help us move because although I'm very strong, I don't think I can move the fridge. It's just really heavy. We need a dolly, so we're getting there slowly but surely. Can you believe it though, tomorrow? It's gonna look so Whole different. new house. Like it's literally gonna look like a new house. It's crazy. I'm like kind of liking this vibe, like bar in the bathroom. Why not? How perfect. <laughs> and then all the stools. It's time. So they've been putting plastic over everything that's going to be like stained to make sure it doesn't get totally destroyed as they start to tear up the floor. The echo in here is crazy. And I think the weirdest thing is how tiny our bedroom feels. Like we have a small bedroom anyway, but it feels tiny without any furniture. For some reason, all the furniture makes it feel bigger, which I would think would be the opposite, but it feels miniature. Like it feels so little. This has still gotta get out, but it's happening. I just literally can't believe it. Nine years later, floors are finally gonna go. We had to put a bunch of stuff out here because it wouldn't fit in the garage. peeking inside the house, so no new floors yet, but oh my gosh, that's so crazy. <laughs> you know, I never thought construction and stuff would go as planned, but we're like literally five days in later than we thought we'd be and just having to find somewhere to stay every night. It's a lie that you tell yourself, <laughs> the contractor first tells you, and then even though you've been told it many times in the past and it's mm -hmm. never been true, you're like, oh, okay, yeah, that sounds good. I and didn't think about we could have just stayed at the office. I don't think we're technically supposed oh, to sleep here okay. by the rules of our lease, but yeah. I mean. But we stayed in an amazing we hotel. We had a little yeah. mini staycation. We're gonna go hang with Ryan's parents again tonight. So we're figuring it out, but man. Still don't know exactly when it'll be done. So it is Friday. We were supposed to be able to be get, get back in the house on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Then they said we're supposed to be able to get back in tonight, but now it doesn't look like that's gonna happen. And then it's the weekend, it's a holiday weekend, so. They're working Saturday, so tomorrow. So they say. 
if they don't finish tomorrow, we don't have anywhere to stay. So, <laughs> uh, gotta figure that out. Thank God we love each other so much and we can just, you know, just figure it out. As long as I'm with you, it's fine. But we're gonna have beautiful floors, so there's that part. All right, little video tour. The house is disgustingly filthy, but the floors are freaking gorgeous. Yes. You love it? Yeah. We are finally so close to being done. It feels like week 10. It's like week two, I think. Um, but the floors are finally done. I'm starting to put everything back together. I cannot wait to show you guys how freaking gorgeous these floors look. So I think today we're gonna try to get everything put away. I'm gonna change the bed. So this is my queen bed that we've had forever and we're upgrading to a king. So I'm very, very excited, but I just wanna get everything organized first and then try to put the finishing touches on. Ready to put this together? Yes, I'm so excited. Okay, never had a box in a bed before, but it's pretty simple. So, bed in a box. Bed in a bo box in a bed. <laughs> bed in a box. So you pull it out one side, and it's in a plastic uh, covering where it's all rolled up, and then you place the base on the base and unroll. So we're gonna put it right on there, and then it will just grow into your dream king mattress. Yes, you guys, I'm so excited. We have talked about getting a king for like years. Um, but one, it's hard to find a really good mattress, and two, it's hard to convince Ryan to change beds when we like had just bought that one a couple years ago. But I'm really excited for this one because they do so much good. Like this company, Lisa, when you buy a bed, 10 beds, like every 10 beds sold, they give a bed to a child in need. Um, and they're just like high quality, has organic cotton. Like I like literally can't wait to sleep on this thing tonight. It's gonna be really awesome. And it has recycled bottles and oh, it has yeah. like 72 bottles in the yeah, can. 73, I think. I think. It's a lot of bottles. It's a lot of it's bottles. pretty cool. Recycled plastic, like, it's so cool, all the efforts that they put in to make sure this is, like, recycling products, good quality, and giving back, and giving a good night's sleep. Boop, boop, let's go. I like, I, I like, I knew it was in a box, but I logically can't figure out how this turns into a bed. <laughs> it's so great. It's like gonna be one of those little sponge things that you put in yeah. water and then it just, like, grows. Yeah, Same, sure. same. We just cut this thing open and it just expanded into that out of nowhere and it's like still growing. It literally almost took Ryan out. It was so funny. Wow, okay. Nice. Wow, that is quite an experience. Okay, ready? Yeah. One, two, three. <laughs> it's oh, so Oh, that's comfy. very comfortable. Oh. It's really comfy and it's really big. Wow. It's nice. Okay, I still don't understand how this was in a tiny little thing. And there's coil in here, too. Yeah. It's wild. It's, it's a modern marvel. It's so comfy, guys. So this is the Lisa Legend, which is, like, Very nice. real nice. I, like, it has, like, the perfect amount of, like, bounce but also like firmness yeah it's I mean? cushy but firm it, it's yeah. true i feel very supportive it's not like also... you're sinking into it like no. like normal like memory foam stuff but yeah oh it's like nice it. now you have a big bed get over there yeah I'm like, <laughs> get away from me this is what you wanted <laughs> i'm so kidding I'm like you just want to get farther away from me and she's no. like no but... i love to cuddle oh, i'm too far now no. you can't get to me no this is the thing i love to cuddle so much but when i sleep I need space, like when I'm actually sleeping. And then Ryan and I will like touch each other in the middle of the night, like give you a little like, hi. But then when I'm like out, I just need to like have my own space. Oh. <laughs> we don't have king pillows. <laughs> I didn't even think about pillows. Well, we'll just uh, fold this. All right. <laughs> I literally am just shocked by how freaky night and day our house looks. It's nuts. Like 
Obviously we got all new furniture, we did the floors, we're gonna do a full home tour for you guys soon, but I wanted to give you a peek at what it all looks like with the new floors and everything kind of put into place. Like, do you feel like you're in the same house? No. Wait. New house, like a new house. You said it's like a resort, like a, yeah. like a nice luxury resort. Yeah, I feel like I'm in a luxury resort. And then we walk in the backyard and it's like, ah. Okay, so you guys ready? Ah. Let's make it super dramatic, ready? What? Oh my gosh. I mean, you guys, seriously, this is so crazy. So this chair still hasn't been hung up. It's gonna happen one day. Um, still waiting on that, but for now, like seriously, look at these floors. It's so insane. Are you so happy? They're really nice. I mean. It just makes it feel totally different in here. Yeah, I was worried that like the chairs and the table would. I swear these aren't the same color as they used to. I know, they look so different now, but I thought they'd be the exact same, but it like fits perfectly, like not too much. I'm obsessed with these chairs, like the like little wiring on the back, everything. Okay, so it's in, oh, I'll show you the bedroom too. Don't mind all my clothes. Um, so we're still waiting for the other part of the bed, like I said, but here we go. Bathroom with the new counter you guys saw us put in. And the light fixtures. Now I'm just doing a whole home tour. Okay, let's move on. Floors, floors, floors. We got the tile in the laundry room redone. So they did it. It was terrible. There was like all these like dents. It was like walking into like pit, like potholes. Potholes, pills, potholes. Um, so they redid it. It looks beautiful. And just like walking the halls, I'm like, ooh. My office is all wood floors now instead of carpet. And then now we have a guest bedroom that I've already taken over with more clothes. <laughs> and the beautiful laundry room floors. We're waiting on the transition piece that'll go right there, but I mean, so, so gorgeous. So happy with those. I've just been hanging out on the bed now. We're so excited for our first night's sleep on it. And just big thank you to Lisa for sending us this mattress. Like, it's so amazing. And you guys, again, they've donated over 18,000 mattresses. Like, they're doing good while making really amazing products. So if you're looking for a mattress, I'll put the link down below. Definitely check them out. I'll keep you posted on how I sleep tonight. Um, and we're gonna be doing a full home tour for you guys too, once everything gets put in. Like, once we get the headboard and the bed frame and everything, and all the house put back together, I'll do an updated home tour of all the new things. So I can't wait to share that one with you guys. Hope you like seeing the reno and the process. We're almost there. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, hit that red button. Make sure you subscribe. If you guys like these vlogs and just kind of updates, comment down below and let me know so I can make more of them for you too. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.